All right, what's up everybody? If this is your first time tuning into this channel, my name is Chuck, it's Chris Watt. I'm a licensed real estate agent out here in Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm with Simply Vegas. So today I am here in the master plan community of Summerlin. This is a gated community. And this home is just right off the corner of a cul-de-sac here. Now this home was built in 1999. This property features 4,107 square feet, total five bedrooms, five baths, three car garage. You do have two balconies. The asking price for this resale home, $1,298,000. So let's go inside, let's see exactly what this home has to offer. So right here, it looks like they had uh, some pots here at one point, plant pots. You have a nice iron steel door, which is really nice. Now what I like about these doors, they're really heavy. You got this frosted glass too right here as well. And yeah, let me show you this right here. You can literally open this up. All right. To Get the breeze to come in, which is kind of cool. But now let's take a look at this home. You have some nice high ceilings, very traditional, double tray ceiling. You have three fireplaces. I'm gonna come along this side right here. I'm gonna so you guys can see exactly what's going on. Here we go, better perspective. So this is gonna be your main living area. You have the French doors that take you out to the back, which is really nice. You got the uh, central vac. You got a nice travertine tile here, it looks like. And travertine baseboards, looks like six inches here. Home is equipped with an alarm system. Got an iron staircase. But let's head down this way, let's see what we got. Now this home may be a little bit outdated for the right price. Oh, look at this. You got a controlled wine cellar. It's very hard to see. Very hard. Right underneath the staircase. This is a great idea. So here's your half bath. Now the pedestal sink, it's more of a gray into it. I don't know if the camera is picking it up or not. Then you got this glass right here. And basically that's from the front door. Okay, that's pretty interesting. What do we have down here? This hallway. We have our laundry room. Washer and dryer. A home this big, I prefer to have two laundry rooms. So we have a, like a linen closet here. So we have the ADT alarm system keypad, which is old. And also the Nevada Energy. This is a thermostat that should help run the efficiency of the air conditioning unit. This is the uh, <coughs> four car garage, or three car garage, I'm sorry. You got some built-ins here. Garage right there is a little bit damaged. Now for the right price, there's a lot that you can actually do with this home. I love the uh, built-ins here. That's really nice. However, um, with this type of wood, because I've did the same thing, you can see where it's kind of like swelled up a little bit over here just from the water. And that's kind of common with this. That's why it's better. It's best to elevate those cabinets. I love how they got this private storage here. Okay, we got the two tanks for the hot water heater. And carrier, here is your coils for your air conditioning unit and your furnace. Return line, this is probably the side door that takes you out to the back. So there's actually two here. You got one for the garage. Here's your side axis. One thing you'll notice is that 
wherever your garage is, you're going to have all the utilities and also your access point uh, to the backyard with your gate. So it looks like we got four air conditioning units, which is all original here. This looks like a three layer stucco. I love the uh, the eaves here. It's like a triple eaves, which is really nice. I can just tell by the looks of the home. Um, there is a lot of deferred maintenance of the home. However, like I said, for the price, I think pretty good price actually. We'll close this and we'll go inside. Again, I'm just gonna turn off this light because I'm already here. So that way I don't have to deal with it. I'm like, when I'm done. Alright. Here's this your extra closet. So we got a bedroom downstairs with the French doors. Uh, today I'm wearing the CKG outfit. If you guys are interested in uh, purchasing one, let me know in the comments. This one has a, a full bath or three quarter. To redo this whole home, you're probably going to be spending like $350,000, but I'd cut this thing out and just redo it. But structurally, the home is pretty cool, actually. So here's the uh, kitchen. Okay. Or you can come back around this way to the family room. Now this does drop down about six inches here. So you definitely have to open all this up right here for sure. Oh yeah. So it looks like we have the original skin color here. Get your stove in the middle. This is going to be more of like a galley type of kitchen. Remember, this home was built in the early 90s. Oh, well, late 90s actually. So the style of this home is different from the things that, or from the videos that you've been seeing. But the reason why I want to do a video on here is because you need to see exactly what's out here, right? And what you can get for your money. In addition to that, if you have an eye for the right price and you also got the money, this is a diamond in a rough. Orange peel texture, you got your built in here. Basically, one thing I would do is um, rip this whole thing out and make this one big kitchen. Yeah, that's right. I'd make this thing one big kitchen and focus on my main living here, right? So you have a living here. Oh yeah, this would be huge kitchen. Oh yeah, for sure. The homes were choppy like this back in the day. Got the granite, got the doggy door. Wow, this is kind of strange. You have a small little doggy door, but then the small little dog has to hop over this. Not too sure how that works. So this again just drops in. I probably would fill in this whole area. Get rid of this. Fill this all with concrete. Level all this off. All right, let's go this way. So you got the built-ins here. But the backyard is beautiful. Look at this. Now, a couple things here. These trees definitely need to be trimmed and they're not cheap to trim. Also this tree right here, you'd have to get rid of it because they consistently 
drop these little things and as you can see it's like literally on the pool you got your beach access here okay uh, this part right here the concrete right here I'm sure the inspector would catch this right here so this is um, moving for some reason so that's something that you'd have to take a look at gorgeous let's come on this side so here's the uh, side of the house again then we had that French door that downstairs bedroom now you're probably wondering man is this home worth it I won't even buy this thing yeah but what happens if I told you homes in this area is going for 1.8 million and they reduce the price to 1.298 to sell it. Would that be a good deal to you? All I'm saying is before making suggestions and comments, run the comps. Because this could be the seal of the lifetime. Alright, here are those little things. As you can see, it could literally clog the drain and this is a good pool actually these are uh, pop-ups let's see what we got down this way so we just got river rock this home right here feels like Miami Miami baby ceiling fan as you can see it's warped it's probably not the right ceiling fan it's not an exterior ceiling fan all right let's uh let's head upstairs you got a 60 inch staircase which is nice and wide I do like that you got wood flooring tongue and groove love this part right here so this is the front of the house and I'm out of breath So we got a balcony up front. Looks like the roof has been recently redone. It's been foamed out. These things can last up to 40 years. Now you got stain spots here that shows you that this is the low point of the ceiling, right? So you have water that just sits there and stagnates, doesn't run down to the drain. However, that's okay because it really doesn't rain that much here. And the roof line still actually looks really good. It looks brand new actually. Coming back to these uh, first doors here, you have the blinds in the inside, which you can control here. You see that? Then you can bring them up and down too as well. Get your built-in closet. And then we have a bathroom here. Not bad. Not bad.
So we got another bedroom. So if you guys want more information about this home, just go ahead and click on the link in the description below. This is the only YouTube channel that's going to educate you on how to purchase a home and things to look out for. Some of the services that we do provide is we do full video tours for our clients from out of state. You don't have to be here. We can handle the transaction on your behalf. We have your best interests. We're looking to build long-term relationships. Look at this. Hmm. A little extra storage. You got the Jack and Joe here. I hate this countertop right here. It's so ugly. I have the same one for my kitchen and it's horrible. Pink, like, where does the pink come from? You know what I'm saying? Pink countertops. And there's nothing wrong with pink, but not that pink. You know, I got a couple pink shirts myself and shoes. Here's another thermostat. I don't even know what bedroom, what, number four already at this point? Bedroom four, yeah. This is probably 10 and by 12. Extra closet. But I mean, this is the best part right here. Look at that. Now this primary bedroom is a large 24 by 20 with a fireplace. I love how you have these windows almost from floor to ceiling. These are nine foot ceilings too on the second floor. I don't know if I mentioned that. You got the fireplace. Then you got your French doors. Let's go out to the back here. The decking on here is still in great condition. It just needs to be picked up. Let's take a look at the pool here. Oh, it's pretty nice how they cladded this. Definitely appreciate that. So as you can see, this tends to happen a lot depending where your door is facing. So what's happening here is that the sun is beating on this side. So um, the sun is going to be beating on this side of the home, on the back side. This home is actually facing north. So your sun exposure is going to be from east to west. So what happens is um, you have water that retains here. So probably what's happening is when the water comes in, when it rains, it sits and soaks here. The wood soaks it up after time. Sun beats on it, right? Then at that point, what happens is it starts to dry rot. You do have some discoloration here that is a sign that it also probably soaks and it just needs to be sealed the right way. Same thing on this side. Look, I'm not here to pick this home apart because, you know, obviously, I'm here to educate you. And like I said, if you get it for the right price, it's a steal. So this one has two closets. I take it this one's going to be his because this is just way too small. This light should go on, but it's not. Okay, so here's the second closet. It's funny, like back in the day, um, it seems like the space are not utilized as, as it should be. Let me see if I can turn these off here. It's like, where is the light? Maybe it's this way. Let's see if this is the light. 
Give me a second. I can't find a light switch. There we go. Lights off. Let's take a look at this again. The money shot. Look at this. There's so much you can do with this right here. For sure. Again, I'm going to have a link in the description below if you guys want more information about this property. Also, check, on, check it out on the comments. Check it out. I said check it out. Check it out in the comments too as well. I'm also going to have a link in the description below. And also, if you guys haven't had a chance to subscribe to this channel, we really appreciate it if you guys subscribe to the channel. Wow, look at that chandelier. Um, uh, I don't think those are real crystals, but it looks cool. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video home tour. Like I said, go ahead and uh, hit the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. Other than that, I appreciate each and every one of you guys from the bottom of my heart. Be blessed, folks. Did you like that video home tour? Are you a fan of this channel and you want to get plugged into the real estate market? Well, I got something for you. We have a new channel, real estate, vlogs, Las Vegas lifestyle, behind the scenes, financing, flipping, commercial properties, interviews, local businesses, Chuckett's Crusoe 2.0. Check it out.